everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Vanilla server. Yeah, guys, welcome back to Vanilla. Uh, <laughs> I think Biffa left in the comments last episode that my hellos are getting shorter and shorter. And he wanted me to rectify that, and I said that I would do a 30 second long one next time. Yeah, well, I've tried that, and it just does not work. Oh, man. So, yeah, you guys get what you get. I said hello. How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, today I want to work on the base once again. Uh, today I want to work on the storage room. Uh, so I kind of decided that I wanted to build the storage room out of birch wood. So as you can see I'm planting a whole lot of birch saplings. Uh, I do have a bunch of birch planks. We were talking about that last episode. But I need birch leaves and birch logs and other such things like that. Uh, we want to keep with the same two wood colors we've been using, both the oak and the birch. So, uh, planting some saplings so I can definitely get some leaves. We got plenty of saplings. Don't have to really worry about running out of those guys. But yep, I figure, you know, we can just plant these things, let them grow while we're doing some stuff today. And cut them down as we need them. So this is the way I've been planting them, basically just next to one of these torches. Uh, not really because they grow faster or anything like that, just so, you know, these torches are spaced out 5x5, five five, but I think the, the uh, birch saplings need a 3x3 three three to grow. But anyway, that just makes sure that they get enough space and the leaves won't run into each other and all of that stuff. So yeah, guys, today, uh, I think we're going to start working on that storage room like I was saying. So let's get some materials together. Yeah, I only got like a stack plus 12 birch wood. It's not a whole lot. I got a bunch of planks though and some stairs and some slabs. Probably going to need a crafting table. Anything else? I think we're good for now. Okay. So <laughs> getting a storage room set up is definitely something that I wanted to do. I've mentioned that before. All of these chests right here are full of cobblestone and these right here too. So that is a whole lot of cobblestone. I haven't thrown any of it away. In fact, I've used some of it. I smelted it, turned it into regular stone, turned in those into stone bricks, turned the stone bricks into uh, stone brick slabs, turned some of the stone into the smooth stone. Yeah, and then I think I got some more over here that I've already smelted up. So we had quite a lot of the stuff. More couple stone here. Man, I even forgot that's what that was. What is this? Dirt? Dirt? Yeah, lots of stuff <laughs> that needs to be stored. And it's not meant to be left here in this tower, even though this has pretty much been my storage area since we started this base. I want to go ahead and get that changed. So let's head downstairs and let's take a look at what we got for the storage room. Alright, so once again I need to change the sound settings because those cows are going to drive me crazy. Just go ahead and do that. I noticed something weird actually. Oh, hey. Hey, D-Mac. I noticed something weird actually. Um, Oh, and Cleo, interesting. Hey, Cleo. <laughs> uh, when you have the hostile creatures sound, or friendly creatures, I'm sorry, uh, sound turned down, that also makes it so your footsteps go away. And it's just one of those things. I like hearing footsteps, so if like a creeper sneaking up on me, or somebody else is sneaking up on me, I want to be able to hear those. Can't really hear it too well on the grass, but on the wood, definitely. And it's just one of those things that if I can't hear that sound, it, you know, that also drives me crazy. It's fine, like, if we're working around these cows and I want to shush them up. But when I'm playing off camera, yeah, I really want to hear those. Also, I did change this. I think I had stairs around here before and I kind of wrapped the uh, walkway around with stairs. And I didn't really like the way that looked. It just kind of took away from the single wood plank border around this. Same thing over here. Um, I had stairs around here as well, but I replaced those with wood planks and then I put a torch right in the center. So I've done that on all the four sides. And in fact, I started doing that downstairs on the level below, uh, but we really are not working on that level today. Uh, it still needs a lot of work. Uh, so let's see, if I want to set up a storage room down here in a round area, I really need to build something to put all the chests in. I was almost thinking it'd be cool if I dug out some of this grass and put some stairs down and then we could utilize some of that space below uh, this floor, but I don't know. I really kind of like having the fact that we have these level floors and we got like the little subfloor if we need to run redstone or whatever. 
So, hmm. If I wanted to build like a straight structure, if we do it from here, it's going to be, hmm, maybe we should do it from this side or about from right here. Well, this is the center of this little quadrant. So I think if we do it from like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's start placing some blocks. Okay, uh, we're gonna use birch wood for now. I know, I know, it's ugly, it's ugly. Just give it some time. It might grow on you. Let's try it. Uh, we're going to place some birch logs there. And I forgot the most important part. I forgot our chests. I could make some out of the birch wood that we have, but that kind of defeats the purpose of me growing all these trees over here. Uh, I need the birch wood. I've already made up a bunch of chests early in, pre in preparation, if I can speak, for doing a storage room. So I want to use those. And also, uh, I've been... For regular wood purposes, I've been growing a lot of the spruce wood and the 2x2, two two, uh, the really tall trees. So that's how I've been getting most of my wood just for regular use. So there's 32 chests. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Let's do another 32 while we're here. Uh, remember, we got a lot... Oh, I don't know. We got so many chests here that I'm probably going to reuse. I think I'll be fine. We could f probably find a use for these chests later on anyway. Um, I'm not sure how much storage space we need, but there's a stack of chests. We're good to go. I keep getting caught up in these things. That's annoying. All right. So, storage room, storage room. I want to use some of these oh, oak, uh, birch logs. Getting a little distracted. I want to use some of these birch logs for the design. I want to use birch planks in between the chests, I'm pretty sure. Or at least some kind of a birch wood color. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this and birch leaves to kind of fill the gaps and things like that. So I think what I want to do, we're going to play some chests here. Let's put, I eh, probably want the axe in my bar. Let's put it right there. Let's do like behind, right like that. And then we're going to do something here to separate them. We're going to knock out some of these torches, so we're going to have to worry about lighting this in a little bit. Probably, ooh, that's almost perfect. So if we end this right like this with more birch, Aha, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna stick a torch back here just for safety reasons. I guess we'll stick a torch back there too. Don't want any creepers spawning and blowing us up. Okay, so there's a start. Doesn't look like anything right now. Let me move the mic. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. My The mic stand that I use kind of squeaks a little bit now. I might have to look at oiling it or getting a new one. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so we want, let's see, how do we want to do this? I think probably the first thing, let's place down the chest. I want to go four or five high. Let's try four high first. Is that a good number? We can reach to five, but then it's kind of like you're stretching and I'm not sure how tall I want to make this. I mean, we don't really have that much room between the ceiling and the top of this right now. Uh, we might just go this high right now. If I want to make it higher, it probably won't be too difficult to extend it up one more block. So let's just do this. Place down a few more of these chests so we kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. Okay, and last ones. Did I just, oh, I'm hitting the ceiling. Wow. We are actually closer to the ceiling than I thought I was. Oops, didn't hold shift. There we go. All right, so there's some storage space. Doesn't look like anything right now. Did they say anything? Recording for a sec, B or B? Heesh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I want to put, like, birch planks between these guys. Let's do this. See how this is going to look. Do that. Do this one. That guy. Oh, oh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to replace these torches and put, like, glowstone underneath these chests to light the floor. Since the chests pretty much hide the lighting, I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, well, that's looking like something. Uh, we got just a few slabs on us. Let's try... Let's place some temporary blocks for now. Let's try putting some slabs on the top of this just to kind of give it a, a uh, more finished look on the top. Whoop, they did not mean to place a slab there. Dang it, am I going to have enough now? I don't know. Nope, not enough. Uh, can I... Yeah, let's go ahead and make a few more slabs. We will want to see how this looks when it's completed. Let's do that. That should be enough. 
Get this guy back. Come here. And... Oh, can't place it come standing. All right. So how are we looking there? Well, obviously, that slab doesn't go. This doesn't go. So, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It looks like chests separated by birch. I wonder what we could do to make this look a little bit better. Maybe if we inset... Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we do have birch stairs. So we could try maybe this, putting some stairs there and some stairs up here. How's that going to look? Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting design. You got little notches out of there. Let's try... Maybe if we put some stairs, whoops, like that. Now we kind of got like an arch or an arc happening. Is that good? I'm actually not sure. Let's try a few more of those and see how that looks. That It looks interesting. I haven't really messed around with stairs too much, but, whoops, that is right side up, not upside down. I haven't messed around with stairs too much as far as like designs and things like that, so that's new to me anyway. Be interesting this might turn out to be the way we want to do this do that and one more okay there there upside down and upside down okay well that definitely makes it look different I'm not sure I'm happy with it can you sleep while I log yeah is oh yeah Cleo's on oh she uh just left the game too. Let me sleep. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hopefully everybody's going to be happy. So yeah, that's looking interesting. Now I'm thinking we could probably do repeat this pattern on this side right here and then probably do another one of these on this side, and another one along that wall, and then we'd have like half a room full of storage. And that would look pretty good, but I still not exactly finalized. I'm not exactly finalized on this. Let's try something else real quick. If we had those stairs in set one block, what happens if we put blocks in set one? Actually, I kind of like that better, how they're flush up against the chest. The only thing is, we're not going to have a place to stick like item frames if we want to do that to show what's in these chests. Although, I, <laughs> as you guys know in the past, in one of my previous videos, I talked about item frames and how much lag, uh, frames per second lag on the client they cause. I'm not really a big fan of them. I would prefer to not use item frames or use as little as possible around the base if we're going to use them. But I definitely don't want to put one for every single chest. That's actually looking better. I like that. Okay, so let's go with this design. So we are going to want to do the same thing along over here, I think. So how did we do this? Um, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Do we start right here? Is that the same torch? I think that's the same torch. So if we do birch... Oh, get myself turned around. If we do birch logs right there, now we got kind of a big gap between these guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this for a little bit. I might even extend this, you know, a double chest over this way and a double chest over here. Just so these guys can meet a little bit closer. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me go ahead and play around with this for a little bit off camera. Start building some of this and we'll be right back. So I had to go and make a whole bunch more chests. 64 was not enough to fill that up. And unfortunately, the chests that I'm already using for storing materials are completely full. So what I might do is start bringing those materials down here, uh, filling up these chests, like maybe dedicate all of these to stone or something. Put all that down here and then take the empty chests and build the other side later. Not quite sure yet. I'm actually not even sure if we're going to keep this this way. Uh, it's looking pretty good to me so far, though. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think we're going to leave it alone. Uh, so I put in the second row here. I did extend it out one more chest and brought those two birch logs together. Couldn't think of words to say right there. Uh, so let's see. I don't like how there's an opening here. And I was kind of thinking maybe we fill this up with leaves 
And that would look pretty good. So I went ahead and I collected some of the birch leaves from the trees upstairs. So if we put those right here. And then maybe do that. Now you can kind of see through there, but not really that well. Uh, you can see that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you can see that torch back there. Uh, but I might remove that and place like a piece of glowstone under these leaves. Now it's also kind of looking over here on the corners what we wanted to do. So I placed another bunch of oak logs here, another pillar of those. And then I kind of brought the half slabs I'm using on top over to right here. I want to access to behind. I don't, I don't really know what I'm ever going to do back here. But I want access to behind. So I left one block space. And then I'm kind of thinking we need to fill this in with something. So one idea we could do is we could put down some more of these stairs like we have been doing. Just kind of like this. And some more upright like that and then this is where things get a little tricky we do something like this and just fill this in with leaves so we got kind of like a little framed out area here with leaves in it i'm um, not sure we might move those stairs above up one more how's that look it kind of looks a little weird with the slabs there and the stairs but unfortunately if we put the stairs up one more level uh, mobs can spawn on the bottom of them, or on, I guess that would be the top. The upside down stairs they can spawn on, so I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. Um, there's probably some tweaks we can do. I'm sure you guys can leave some good comments down below to let me know what I can do to make this look that much better. Uh, probably something else I'd want to do is maybe double these up just a little bit to make it harder to see all the way through or we can replace these leaves with some more wood or something but yeah that kind of makes it a little bit harder to see through it's still a little transparent but yeah I think that does the job uh, I might even put some leaves down here so you can't see directly down as well maybe something for the top so you can't see up as easy because you can see through that one leaf block here pretty easy yeah, I don't know. There's a few more things we could do here, but I think I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Uh, just make these little walls. I mean, we could also put chests in here too if we really wanted to and we wanted the extra storage, but I think that's quite a lot. We'll see. I mean, I can always silk touch these later. Oops. Are we going to have enough stairs to do both of these exactly? Really? Huh. Yeah, we can always silk touch those leaves back later. Or not silk touch them, use shears and get them back. So it's not like we're really wasting them. Um, but yeah, like I said, we could also put storage in here if we wanted to. So that might be something we do. Let's grab a few more of these leaves. Let's go ahead and do this all up like we did on the other one. Do that there. And like I said, I might even put some up top. Just to make it harder to see, uh, through these leaves. And right like that. Yep, that's good. And then we wanted to double that up probably. Okay, so I guess the biggest thing that we're going to need to do is check out how this looks from like where we're walking down because we want this to look good from pretty much all angles. Um, well, I guess this angle probably isn't going to look very good, but you know what I mean. We want it to look good from everywhere. I think that looks really good. Uh, it feels a little dark. Maybe we can add some lighting in there somewhere just to make it brighter even though mobs can't really spawn. That's not a big deal. Uh, let's see if we come from over here. So we're coming down the stairs and we turn around. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Um, we can add some more features down here. This plain grass is just kind of plain. We could add some tall grass here. We could speckle it with uh, glowstone or redstone lamps. Get rid of these torches. I think that'll make it look that much better. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could probably put some leaves up above here and kind of block off the ceiling. Although I kind of like the openness. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things we can play with here. Also, these corners. I think I started talking about that. Might fill these with leaves and then put like a glowstone right there. Although that makes it a little bit more square. I don't know. Like I said, there's a lot of things to play around with here. Uh, so, yeah, that's something that I'm going to have to do off camera. I'm going to duplicate this, this whole thing on this side. Like I said that I'm going to do. Uh, we need to bring all the materials from uh, upstairs down here. 
I might end up using my mules to do that. They can store a lot of materials on them, so I can pack a whole bunch of stone with me, use my ender chest and the mule. We could do a lot of this at once. Yeah, I think that'll be a pretty cool idea. Actually, give these guys a little bit of use. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you guys think about the storage room. It's not completed yet. I know it's going to look better eventually. Um, also, thank you guys for leaving the comments last episode about the mob spawners. I'm still deciding what I want to do. Uh, the one that you guys showed, or the one that a lot of people linked to, was that one by Koala, I think. 13,000 items a second, which is great, but I want to have it above the base, and I want to make sure that this can go all the way through. I don't know, that might be a problem. We might not be able to put the spawner directly above here. But I was kind of thinking it's something that we could put above here, let these beams still work, and something that's obviously going to look good. So I'm still deciding. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.